Over the last week, we've covered a number of Pokemon that you can easily shiny hunt in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet by going to specific locations where only that certain Pokemon spawns through, specific sandwich and counter powers that you can put on and boosting the shiny rates with that sparkling level three power through using Herba Mystica. Now I've got another one today for you. It's gonna be a super easy one for you to do and that is gonna be getting a shiny Sandy Gas or Palisand in your copy of Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So to easily get yourself a shiny Sandy Gas, which is one of the nicest shinies, I think, in these games, which you can evolve into a shiny Palisand, has that really nice black shiny to it as well, which I know is a lot of people's favorites. You want to be coming over to the West Province area too here. So heading over to the Porto Marinada area, and we're going to be heading down to the beach area. And this is something that I stumbled across when I was looking for different areas where you can find specific Pokemon that are spawning in these areas so once you are at the Pokemon Center here like I say you want to head down to the beach area right so when you're on the beach here you want to come over to this area where there are three tables and three parasols this is gonna help you kind of identify exactly where you need to be setting up you want to come to this parasol that's furthest on the the left here so you kind of want to be right about here, just to the left of the table and you can set a picnic up right here which is perfect for you so once you set the picnic up in this location you're going to want to set up a sandwich and, and primarily it's going to be for the ghost encounter power level three and the uh, sparkling power level three as well we're just going to use an easy one for this one just to save a little bit of time there will be as always sandwich recipes on the screen as well as linked in the description to make it a little bit easier and you'll have your choice of recipes with what you want to use to get the exact encounter power and sparkling power for ghost types that you'll need either using a mixture of different Herba Mystica or just regular Herba Mystica like the Salty or whatever that we're using in this video just to speed things up. So there we go, we got the Sparkling Power and Encounter Power Level 3 for Ghost and that is all we need. And once we take our picnic down, I'll just reiterate the point and show you exactly where we're located on the map here, just in this part of the beach area here, um, just north of Porto Marinada. And what you can do is because you are backed onto the cliff. You're going to have no worry about any of the sandy gas spawning behind you. You've got a clear view of the entire beach, so you're going to be able to see every single spawn that comes in. You might want to check from time to time down to that location, but primarily if you just pan your camera here, you're going to be fine. As long as this furthest to the left picnic table with the parasol on it is pretty much in front of you and you've got the tree to the left of you again, then you're going to be in the perfect location for this. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is, once this is all set up, just put your table up, put your picnic up, and despawn everything that's out, as long as they're not shiny, of course. And then just put your picnic table away and let the shiny hopefully spawn in very quickly. Now, just to reiterate, this is a ghost type. It doesn't rely on it being nighttime for this to spawn in this area. So it can be day, it can be night. It's going to be easier to spot at nighttime because you've got the different tone of the beach to the actual tone of the Pokemon itself. Through the day, the light can make it difficult to see them. Although the shiny is going to be super easy to spot regardless because of its black coloration that it's going to have. So like I say, once you've got everything set up, you've got 30 minutes, you've dropped a save before you've done this process as well to make sure if you don't get a shiny in the 30 minutes that you are going to be able to get one. Um, again, you're going to be able to try again without wasting resources and it's a super easy method. You're going to get about 15 uh, sandy gas spawning in at a time. So you want to just wait till they've all spawned in, check them all, which is like I say, super easy to do. And then once no more spawning in, just set your picnic up and then kind of rinse and repeat till that shiny shows up and there's a shiny we've got one finally it has spawned in and it has taken a little while for it to spawn in but you can see over to the right of me from here there is one just over uh, near the shoreline so we'll be able to get ourselves a shiny palisand and like I say it is such a great shiny as well coloration of this one is just brilliant so I am super happy that we've got this 
And as you can see, here we go. We've got a nice, lovely, shiny, sandy gas there, which, like I said, did not take long to get at all. So a really nice shiny. And you're going to be able to evolve it into Palisand at level 42. So if you do have any spare rare candies or level up candies, you're going to be able to just feed a couple to this thing and get it up to the level that you want for it to evolve. But it is a very cool Pokemon and it does have some really cool, quirky moves, abilities to it as well. And definitely one to worth going and getting in these games. I feel like it's one of the more nicer looking shinies that we've got in Scarlet and Violet with a lot of the new Pokemon not having brilliant shiny forms. At least we've got things like Palisand and Sandy Gast as well that have this really obvious kind of shiny form that makes them look very unique. And um, I hope you have a lot of luck going out and catching your own. So that is everything in today's video, friends. I hope you have found it useful. It's a really great spot to just go and dedicate some time to shiny hunting this very unique Pokemon and an easy way for you to do it. Like I say, you're gonna be able to just set your picnic up in that specific area where we were, set your sandwich up and things like that, and then just despawn and respawn to get rid of the non-shinies until that shiny spawns in. If you found today's video useful, please drop a like, do subscribe to the channel, for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then friends, take care of yourselves and bye! -bye.